boost with mission and liftoff, returning to the space station, taking the way for future missions beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to, this is a quick video, I just want to take a real quick five, seven minutes and talk about this, uh, what's it called? Blooming Waters Premium Collection, Scarlet and Violet, 151. Guys, this, uh, first of all, the amount of videos that have came out today about this Blooming Waters Collection box, um, yeah, so... So naturally, you know, I, ha I finally have a little time to make a YouTube video. Just a, t a tiny window to record a YouTube video. I've been working a lot lately. Um, and then I hear about this Blooming Waters collection box coming out in February. February. Not anytime soon, okay? February. 12 packs of Scarlet and Violet 151. Four promos and a jumbo card. Now, look. I'm going to talk about this for just, just a few minutes and then we're out of here, okay? So... One, we know nothing about this. We the only thing we know is is related to details is that we are going to get more details in December. Okay. Oh, by the way, Jim, Jim, hey Jim, if your name is Jim, but more specifically, Jim with four M's, you won the Derpy Q. Sorry, I totally forgot. Guys, be like commenting and subscribing, and then leave the comment Derpy Q if you would like to win one of the three remaining Derpy Qs. Okay. I got three Derby Qs left, and then we got the Dragonite V alt art from Evolving Skies to give away on Halloween. All right, courtesy of Christian Dale from Valley Wide Sports uh, Cards in Scottsdale. All right, back to back to back to the, the 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 premium collection, Blooming Waters. This shit don't matter, okay? This is not. All right, this is gonna be a ten minute video. All right, check this out. Comparing Crown Zenith and its extended reprint of collection boxes is, uh, that would be, you know, is, that would be a, a, a fallacy, okay? And here's why. I'm gonna ask you a question right now. Does Crown Zenith have a Charizard? No? Oh, I'm gonna ask you one more question. Does Crown Zenith have a Blastoise? No? Oh, wait, one more, one last, I'm sorry, Venusaur? Oh, no. The phrase, the power of Kanto, that is a phrase that I have, that has came out of my mouth often on this channel. The power of Kanto, okay? The power of Kanto is so strong that a box that is going to release in February that has 12 measly packs of 151 in it. Bear in mind, we don't know, okay? Don't believe the amount of misinformation that you could possibly hear between now and December. We don't know if it's going to be available in the Pokemon Center. We don't know if it's going to be a Sam's Club exclusive, a Costco exclusive, or be, you know, available for every distributor that, that you know, around the nation, around the world. We don't know these things yet. What I am here to say is that that shit don't matter. Okay? Why? Because Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, Hype, 30th Anniversary, and it is the current best set. What do I... <clears throat> Crown Zenith. By the time the, what, the Lugia and Unknown box or whatever, this, was that, was that Crown Zenith? That might have been Silver Tibbis. The Zam Zamazenta and the Zassian box, okay? And then the Sea and Sky box, the Sam's Club box. By the time all these reprint, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Semantics are semantics. More packs are becoming available for MSRP. So I don't care if you want to call it a restock, a new product, uh, a reprint. The point is, technically, more available product will more product will become available at MSRP. Now, guys, are we going to assume what all these other YouTube videos are assuming that have came out today? That oh, don't worry, it's fine. You're gonna have another shot at your Scarlet and Violet 151 packs. At a, at a much reduced price in February, it's going to be readily available everywhere and everyone's going to get some. Hell no! Are you serious? Do you know how things work around these parts? This box, with 12 packs, 4 promos, and a jumbo, 
is going to be the most scalped, most sold out, most botted, most instantaneously. Like, the, the, the sea and sky box, even that had some serious issues, okay? That shit ain't nothing compared to what this collection box, even if before then, they announce three months after that, in like summer of next year, there'll be another little box. That shit ain't gonna matter because the power of Kanto, the 30th anniversary, the hype is real, guys. It is so safe and easy to assume that things aren't happening at the volume, at the velocity, at the ag aggressive nature that they're happening until they happen. And then you look back at it and you're like, shit, I wish I would have bought more. Oh man, I could have bought more. I could have bought more. All this $200 Charizard SIR, $75 Blastoise and Venusaur, $45 Charmander, all these raw cards. It's a, it's a bubble. It's all going to go down. Look what happened in April with Sword and Shield, yada, yada, yada. Okay? Look what's starting to happen again with Sword and Shield. Okay? There are bubbles and there then there are movements. A bubble is a Crown Zenith thing that happened in May. A bubble is a Sword and Shield thing that happened in April. A movement is everything doing well. Everything going up. Everything increasing in popularity. And that is what is happening right now. I truly believe this is a movement towards a new territory. New, this is a scenario that you can't draw back, you know, history repeating itself. Oh, look what happened during 2019. Look what happened during this. Look at this crash. So inevitably, this 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 increase, this future excitement, this is going to be crash too. Look, <clears throat> all I'm saying is this next year going into the 30th anniversary with the absolute headliner sets that are being hyped months and months before release starting with surging sparks things are different do not let someone tell you this is just like covid this is just like 2021 everything is gonna crash and everyone is gonna get burned in my opinion nobody knows the honest to god truth where things are going to pan out five years from now all i know is that the people that are in this hobby on a grand percentage level are way more actual fans of the artwork the cards the game the, itself than before during the last bubble the 2019 to 2021 bubble okay i think this is more of just an actual movement where people are actually coming around and getting back into the hobby always getting back into the hobby for the first time or second time after a large break um people just have a hard time wrapping their mind around how healthy this ip is and like to compare all this sword and shield stuff during so much volatility chaos hype during that three-year block and to try to make connections and try to guess what's going to happen based on well this happened with this set and yeah there is a lot of crown zenith sea and sky box comparisons to this new premium collection i guys i'm just saying like i cover this stuff i'm i'm a basically only talk about raw cards and have a weekly series about raw cards every single friday but i pay attention to everything i watch everybody i i under i know these these sealed prices i get it and it is it is happening in a lot of different areas okay and the game itself is more popular than ever okay we got this new the, the, what is the thing the new digital whatever there's just too much money too much interest all gearing towards that 30th anniversary so look this box is already gone you can't buy this box what do you mean it doesn't come out till february unless you're ready to pay 1.5 to a scalper you ain't getting this box you ain't getting 12 easy packs for msrp of 151 in february you're not that's not the way things are going and that's definitely not the way things will be in february okay like february is we're in ultimate hype like this this box is going to be reprinted like right when this team rocket set is get, getting ready to come out like i'm sorry y y if you think everything's going to be cheap and easy for the good shit you're you're screwed that's all i got like comment subscribe deuces uh no but seriously that is all i got um and yeah so uh write derpy q in the comment section below uh 
you know, don't, if you want this stuff, just pay for it and deal with the consequences as it goes down and deal with the reward if it stays where it's at and it's going to go up. This is a very well established era from beginning to the end that is gearing towards bigger and bigger and bigger and the market values the sealed products the pokemon center promos everything is screaming good investment all right so you know i'm not an investor bro but this was definitely an investor bro video all right guys like comment subscribe deuces do it just do it don't let your dreams be dreams yesterday you said tomorrow so just do it make your dreams come true just do it!